Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video for ASL Season 2 Wi-Fi. Um, last week had the draft analysis going up. Go ahead and go check that out. We got a pretty pretty good team here. Um, and in week one, we're going to be playing um, Godbear, coach of the Chicago Foulings. Go check him out down below. None? No. Dude, I got none. I got no battle music. Okay, I'm gonna have to edit in, edit in some music. That is some tragic shit. But, um, okay, so he's got a scary team here. It's so tragic. Um, Clefable, Kiram. He brings the croc. Brings the chestnut. He brings the blastoise. And he brings the slow king. Okay, so I'm definitely, like, super scared of Shell Smash Blastoise. Super scared of Shell Smash Blastoise. Um, he doesn't bring Cleavor, so I'm not really inclined to lead with uh, Tungsten here. I do really like the um, Greninja lead, though. So what is he probably going to lead with? Like, Clef? What is he going to lead with? This is a weird team. This is kind of not what I was expecting. I'll lead... Greninja, because it's safe. Dude, I, 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 have, I have no idea. Um, if, if you can't tell, um, I'm using a different account, because I actually fucked up the... Um, the game time. So I'm on an account that I was going to do a Wonder Lock on, which is why the name is Wonder. Here we go. No battle music. You guys will hear battle music, hopefully. Um... Here we go. Greninja. Into Blastoise. Um... What is this thing gonna do to me? Uh, I have... I have no idea. Blastoise leading here is kinda sketch. Um, I think I just want a U-turn here. I don't have U-turn on it. That's right, that's right, that's right. Dude, I'm trolling. I'm, I'm so caught off guard. I'm so caught off guard. Uh, I'm gonna just go, um, I'm gonna just go forward this here. He's gonna switch out. Twinkle. Clef. Okay, that's fine. So I can get a baton pass off. Dude, I hate this. I hate, I hate no sound. Okay, so he's gonna go clap here. I think I just want to get a baton pass off. Uh, we should be faster, which is not ideal, but it's okay. But it's okay. Um, clap is very, very annoying here. Yep, so we get a fast baton pass off, which definitely means he's not offensive. Um, and we're gonna go right out into Ogre because Ogre Pond can pressure pretty well. Old Breaker's pretty nice. Cause of Power. Okay, so. I believe I'm okay. Um, so he's Cosmic Power, which is really gross, by the way. Um... So if we Swords Dance up, Cudgel's gonna be doing a lot. Let's see what his answer is for me. Chatterbox. Croc. Okay. I'm not entirely sure what this thing gets for me. Like, it's just fire move, right? Um Oh yeah, I cut through unaware, that's right. Uh, so I think I just want to go for a knockoff here, to be honest. Get a big knockoff in. Because yeah, we cut through unaware, which is really nice. That looks really physically defensive to me. And he's going to roar us out, which is okay. 
So he has Roar, very physically defensive to me. Um, which is good to know. And we get into Archaladon, which is actually fairly okay, I think. Obviously our Balloon doesn't matter as much because he doesn't bring the... Um, the whatchamacallit. Mr. Iron Shreds. So here, Draco does actually kill. I'm trying to think, do I want to do that? I think, I mean, I think rocks are pretty good here. I think he has to save this thing. I'm, I'm going to get my rocks up. Yeah, because like, he has to save this thing. He might go Clef. I can't really touch Clef. Gigi is Gloking. Okay. Interesting. I don't know what this thing wants to do. He's probably gonna chili here. Like, if I'm him, I'm clicking chili, which in my eyes, I think I want a T wave because I think he's gonna go out to cure him, which I know I live any hit from cure him. Except for Specs Draco. I live Specs Ice Beam, I don't live Specs Draco. So I'm gonna Thunder Wave here. We land it. Nice. Poking is very annoying, so. See what happens. T spikes. That's not bad. That's actually not that bad. Um I can go Tusk and spin those at any point. Um do I wanna do that now? Don't think so. What do I want to do here? Do I just want to rip a Draco and see what happens? It's probably not even worth it though, right? Nah, it's like it's like 33%, which is like not all that much. I'm I'm gonna go I'm gonna go Tusk here. We'll see if he gets parried, because if he gets parried, I could just get a free spin off. Or if he just tries to set up another layer. We'll see. Ah, okay, it gets the chili off, that's annoying. So this is gonna be Curum for sure, unfortunately. Um, okay. That's really annoying. Yeah, I didn't have a good turn there, just because I can't pressure it, dude. Like, chili is, chili is so good on a regen mon. It's so ridiculous. But yeah, this is surely Curum. Oh. He goes Chestnut. Can I live? Um, yeah, I love a wood hammer. I kind of just want to spin, to be honest. I think spinning is really valuable here. Or I can go kill a watch roll. Hmm. <laughs> I think I want to spin. I think I really value the spin here. I mean, Tusco's kind of crazy. I'll go kill a watch roll. It's fine. I'll go kill a watch roll. Like, I value spinning here, but I also don't want to take a million damage if I don't have to. Like, Woodhammer would do a lot to me. It's gonna go for knockoff. 319 out of 194. Really wish I would have stayed in. So, knock off. That did 125, which is standard for. Okay. So, I'm just going to go ahead and probably just U turn. Definitely just U turn. You have to keep this thing around. Tusk is a problem for you, otherwise. Like, there's no, there's no way this thing stays in, in my eyes. If it does, we will cross that bridge when we get there, but I don't think you can stay in. Because you're also not going to do anything to me, you know? Yeah. Okay, so this is probably Gloking. It's not, it's Clef. Which is fine. Um... Let me think. 
Normally I'd want to go Ogre Pond, but I really hate the idea of getting poisoned. So what if I just go Tusk here? Man, not I, I almost brought Venusaur this week too. Venusaur would have helped a great deal. Nah, I, I I can't just lose Tusk for nothing. It's fine. I'll I'll take the poison. We can just Horn Leech. Not a big deal. So I'm curious. If I go Crocolore. We're gonna say he's physically defensive. No Eevee Light. He's leftovers clock. Interesting. And he took rocks, right? Yeah, he took rocks. So he's unaware. Which is fine, but Violet. I think Horn Leech can do a good number, so I'm gonna click Sword Stance here. Like, really nothing is good into this thing. Like, Ogre Pond goes really crazy. So yeah, he's gonna go Chatterbox here. And I'm just gonna Horn Leech. Oh wait. Cudgel might be a kill. Says Cudgel, Cudgel just 50 max. Which, killing this thing. Says it does 32 to 37.7. Ah, dude. I think that's a kill with Bleach. Is it worth the risk? What does he go after this? Something that's slower than me. It's not worth the risk. We're gonna, we're gonna Cudgel, we're gonna kill this thing. Ogre Pond is going to get our first kill of the season. Love to see it. Ogre Pond putting in that work. Putting in that work. Dead. You have leftovers. I need to be like, I need to be like writing this shit down, man. Fuck off. You are bulky. So I'm curious to what he goes out to here. Secure him? Blastoise. So this to me screams Rindo Berry. Which, physically defensive Blastoise with Rindo Berry doesn't take that much. But how hard can you hit me in return? I don't think you can hit me that hard. I'm gonna just Horn Leech here. Oh shit, dude. I'm trolling. 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 I don't think he can kill me though. Oh, he's Terra Water. I don't think he kills me. Because I'm going to get to full here. Oh, he's Scarfed. Damn. Stupid. Stupid, 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 stupid. Okay. Choice Scarf. Terra water, water spell. Holy god, dude. Um, do I have anything that loves a hit? Terra water. Water. Spout. Does like Gren love a hit? Uh, yes. Dude, that is terrifying. Um, let's floor just live a hit. Yeah, floor just lives a hit fairly well. Um, I'll go floor just here. Damn, dude. <laughs> that is scary. That is really scary. Sheesh. Okay, so if I do Alluring Voice Damage, so he's taking two rounds, or he's taking one round of rocks, plus Alluring Voice Damage, he'll be at about 65, roughly speaking. Then Water Spout's gonna do a lot less. So I think I can Alluring Voice here. Okay, so next time he comes in, he's gonna take more rocks, which is nice. Cloaking. Just 
Sludge? Yeah, Black Sludge. Okay. Dude, losing Ogre Pond was so stupid, because now I'm just kind of fucked with Clef. Ugh. Not good, not good, not good. Uh, I'm gonna go Tusk and hope he gets parried. I think it's my best play. These T spikes are doing me in. Man. I really almost brought Venusaur because I was afraid of Blastoise. And I just didn't end up bringing it. Get paralyzed. Oh my god. Uh, I just kill a lot of opaque from Blastoise at this point in the game. A lot. <laughs> a lot. It goes Max. It's just this thing. I think I just want to spin. Well... No, because everything's kind of weakened. Like, everything that would be poisoned is already poisoned. So... What would he double into on the Kilowatt roll? Nothing's really good into it, so I'm gonna go into Kilowatt roll here. Man. Dude, I'm still mad about losing Ogre Pond. I'm also mad about not bringing Venusaur. Sets up spikes, it's fine. Again, we could spin at some point, it's not a big deal. Uh, I'm gonna roost here. Yep. Get the roost off. Goes Twinkle. Which again, I am really nervous to deal with now because I don't have my dedicated answer for this thing, which is annoying. I think I can U-turn. Let's see. I probably have to U-turn into our child on and get a T-wave off, yeah? Yeah, probably. I don't think our child on's great for anything else. Oh, man. This is annoying. Good, good bring on the Blastoise set, though. Like, honestly. The set is doing me in right now. So, I'm not gonna take spikes here. We still have our air balloon intact, which is fairly nice. He's gonna rip off a draining kiss. Okay. So I think the plan here. Do a nice little defense buff, which is cool. Uh, so it's probably a stored power. Stored power, draining kiss, cosmic power. And then recovery move. So we're gonna go for T Wave here. I just need some fortune to break my way. I need a couple lucky breaks. Okay, so I know I know the whole the fable set. Which is helpful. Um, the crocolore is dead. Chestnut is like spiked set. I don't remember if it took um whatchamacallit. Does it go gloking? It does. Okay, we're gonna try this for the 100th time. Snow stops. I mean, I, th I think it's in my best interest to try this. Right? So, like, my, my thought process right now is, like... I need, I need the Fable around. What I want to do. I mean, Tusk is just the best play. If he gets three three chilies in a row, like three down pairs in a row, it is. I know I'm playing for hacks right now, but it's it's my out. Ice beam does a lot. That's okay though. Three no pairs in a row, by the way. Um. So chess not. gonna do like nothing to it 
Yeah, how do I, how do I win this game? Maybe Greninja? Probably Greninja. I'm gonna spin here. Yeah, he should go Chestnut. Okay, is, it, is he Rocky? Get the spin off, which is nice. Because if I want Greninja to be able to win this game, that's what's gonna have to happen. So he has Helmet, which is unfortunate. How much do I take from Rocky Helmet? 383 times. Or it's divided by 6. I take 38 damage. So if he sets up a spike here. Which I think there's an okay ch chance that he does. Because my thought process here is like... Greninja is how we win this game. How much does Greninja take from Blastoise? 252, water... 我们的，我们的，我们的，我们的，我们的，我们的，我们的，我们的，我们的，我们的，我们的，我们的，我们的，我们的，我们的，我们的，我们的，我们的，我们的，我们的，我们的，我们的，我们的，我们的，我们的，
Risky strat. Okay, I guess... Now I gotta force it out. Let's go our Chaladon. Man, this is... Something. Like, if I had Ogre Pond right now, this game would be so easy. This game would be so easy if I had Ogre Pond. Ah. Frustrating. Frustrating week one. Take spikes. Cosmic power. He slops out. That's fine. That's mission accomplished. Or if he lets me para him. That is our only shot. Let's go for it, T-Wave. If I was him, I would just stay in Draining Kiss. Yeah. Okay. God, this does nothing. Okay. Um. Stamina. Let me think, let me think. Yeah, <laughs> both my physical attackers are dead. Um, so I'm gonna go kill a Watchroll here. Because I don't really kill a as much. I think I need our Chalodon, because our Chalodon can grab a kill here at some point. So here we go, para flinch. It's gonna be really fun. I'm pretty sure I need a couple crits too because I'm not gonna outpace um, leftovers at some point. But let's go for it. Instantly breaks through. Yeah, man. Cosmic power cleft. Very honest strats. Yeah, man. Dude, I haven't gotten a single pair this entire game. You can still get paired if you're magic card. But it's like, I, I haven't gotten a single pair of any of the seven turns or something. So. Real cool. Oh my god, he flinched. I mean, this is pretty futile unless I get like a crit. I need I need him to like get crit. Yeah, I think that's game. I mean, there's there's nothing I can do. It's I I threw away Ogre Pond. Bad on me for doing that, but like, <sighs> it's unfortunate. It's really unfortunate. I don't, I don't think I have an out anymore unless he just parrot a million times. Um, yeah, no. I need, like, Paracrit, Paracrit, Paracrit. So. I think the odds of that happening are very slim. Which, I don't know. He might think that I have Gunk Shot. But, yeah. Paralyzed. That's the thing. It's like, I also need a crit. Because the, the leftovers will face it. Um, if we have a crit, we're very in this game. If I get a crit. We are very in this. Yeah, I'm not going to get it anyway. Okay, another one, another one. Another one. Dude, I'm still I'm still mad that I didn't even think of Scarf Blast Toys. It's, it's a really good bring. It's a really good bring. No crit. Another para. Okay, okay. Okay, it's getting weaker. Come on. Come on, Greninja. Come on. I need that big crit. Nope. Ah, there it is. GG's. Oh, dude, we live. We live. Still in this, still in this. Okay, I, I lost all of my progress, but it's okay. I just, again, I need a crit. <laughs> I didn't think Draining Kids would do that little. I think the next one kills me though. Crit. Nope. Live? No. No crits, man. 
Damn, this is a really lame first game. Not like not, not, not even the losing, just like I have to like Terra Flinch, a cosmic power clefable. This is a high octane gameplay. Oh my god, dude. I mean realistically I should forfeit and save our time, but uh, we'll play it. We'll play it for the sake of it. I mean genuinely If like Floor just could live here and I like PP stall him, wait. PP stalling is like not out of the realm of possibility. I'm gonna synth once here. It's fine because we have another heal coming in. Like, my only hope is, like, PP stalling. Which is, like, so sick, but... I'm gonna wish into Archaladon here. I don't know, is it even worth playing for the PP stall? I don't think you can PP stall on, like, a 60 minute timer. I don't- I just don't think you have, like, enough time if you stole it. Uh, just baton pass. But yeah, like, losing Ogre Pond literally just loses me the game on the spot. I should have just sacked something. Um, because Ogre Pond is so good in this game, dude. It's so damn good. But Okay, yeah, that's a hundred percent. Yeah, I mean our child almost gonna do anything. But Um I'll just play it out, I mean Realistically I should forfeit, but I'll just play it out. Why not? I wanna see if I actually do get a crit at some point. Just for the sake of science. Nope. Parod. But I don't- I also don't feel bad about not forfeiting because you brought- you brought Cosmic Power Clef. You brought this on yourself. Sure, you can make the argument that I should have just not been a bonehead and I should have kept Ogre Pond. But... You bring Cosmic Power Clef, this is what you should expect. Crit! Nope. He gets the crit. Why don't I get a crit? This game's been very crit free though. Been happy about that. Let's see, do I add a poison? I do not. Alright, one last chance. Hail Mary for the crit. No dice. Alright, so like I said, GG's to God Bear. We're gonna fall to 01 minus 5. Really, really rough. Uh, back some GG's, but yeah, like I said, I, I don't think I played very well. I think I had really good prep. I just think. I, I didn't even think of Choice Scarf Last Toy. I said Ogre, Ogre Pond solves that issue, because like I said, we cut. I know he's Magic Guard, but like, Sword Stance is so good at setting up on that. Crocolore was dead. Chestnut gets obliterated. Like, Glow King doesn't take a hit. He's probably not Scarf Curum, so I can hit- Dude, oh, I'm so mad, I'm so mad, I'm so mad. I threw so hard. But, anyways, like I said, thank you all for watching. It wasn't a very interesting game, but I will play better next week. Hopefully, I won't throw the next game, but... Yeah, like I said, GG's God Bear, he played that really well. Scarf Blastoise wasn't even expecting it. Go check him out down below, and I will see you guys next week. Bye!